No, I think Nazim touched up on something which was very important, which is that you, it goes back to my point about understanding but not rationalizing. I want to make this clear, but like how a young person can develop hatred for a community who resembles that of his occupier, right? Now, mm. if it is true, we are products of our environment, we're products of our friends, the music we listen to, the games we play, whatever, yeah? Uh, we're like a sponge, you can only squeeze out whatever water or material we put into it, right? So, um, so if people in Gaza are blockaded, their telecommunications are cut, they can't travel, they don't have access to trade and they're sanctioned, and they're, there's, there's this animosity brewing between each other, it's no surprise why there, there would be, why someone would develop hatred views. Yeah. But what I don't appreciate is when, when Zionists online then use this as an argument to support Israel. They're using uh, something negative, which Israel is respond directly responsible for, to then justify Israel's existence. Well, oh, have you seen the Arabs? They're full of hatred. Yeah, but are, are you not at least in part responsible for that? Like you're partly responsible for that, and you know that. I think I think policymakers like Netanyahu, I think they know what they're doing when they're breeding this hatred, and they know it's, it plays right into their hands. When you see these, uh, when you see videos of Hamas children saying like "Death to Israel, we're gonna conquer," da, 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 it justifies Israel's existence because essentially all Israel needs to say is, if you don't want this form of Islam to exist, then support us with the antithesis. So, oh, the sorry, yeah, you're right. Sorry, go on, Nazim, you jump. No, I was just saying you're right, Omar. <laughs> I mean, this type of rhetoric does justify Israel's existence, exactly. just like every time um, Hamas, for example, attacks Israel. Um, it's no way in the same scale or level that Israel when it retaliates, but it still justifies them exactly. to, uh, in the minds of many people. So, Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a vicious feedback loop. Like, when you have people... The right wing uh, nationalists feed off each other like parasites, you know, like the, the, the right wing. Uh, this is what people don't understand. When you spread that ha hatred of, of, of the other, even if you're kind of more the oppressed part in this case, you know, you, you justify the narrative of the other. The, like the Israelis Jews have this narrative that they are Zionists, that the land belongs more to them. And even if they wanted to share, wanted to share it with the Arabs, the Arabs don't want to share it with them. Um, it's what I saw them kind of thing. You can't, we can't share like kind of kindergarten logic, right? And the and the Palestinians, when they indulge in certain, shall we say, opposing rhetoric about the Jews all being invaders and they they don't, you know, they're evil and blah blah blah, they enforce the Jewish narrative in turn, and then the Jewish narrative then as being enforced reinforces itself and then more supports them. So it's a vicious. We are a product of our environment, but. We have a responsibility to challenge our programming, not necessarily for its own sake, but to try and contextualize our place, to see things through God's eyes, in the sense, to try and see things through God's eyes, inshallah, and that he is above our, above space and time. He sees things from the perspective of, of putting yourself in another person's shoes, right? Isn't that like what it means to be divine? I know I'm getting a bit cosmic here, Oz, but, and I know people also, especially in the Muslim world, have a bit more of a mixed view of Gandhi, but he said something which I thought was very profound, profound and um, I'll be very happy to end on that note. Which was, it's, makes, it's human to err, but it's, it's div divine to forgive, right? Like to see something through the eyes of another human being and to put yourself in their perspective. 